2024 is shaping up to start off with a bang. Big changes in store including server transfers, the center map and the Gigantoraptor as Studio Wildcard brings things forward. Hello survivors, have you ever heard of such a thing? Wildcard bringing plans forward. It's a new year miracle. Of course, we'll have to wait and see it happen first. But yes, there's been a big new year announcement from the team on their plans for the first quarter of 2024 with a change to their roadmap. As you will recall, we weren't expecting to see anything new released until March with Scorched Earth and the Fasoda Sucus. Well, let's see what's in store for us now, survivors. As always, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all the ARC news and have a fantastic new year. Thank you all for the amazing support this year. 2024 is going to be epic. So Wildcard today released their revised plans for quarter one 2024, saying there's about to be a new calendar on the wall and it's filled with content for a Dino Might 2024. And we weren't presented with any delays. Yes, go ahead and pinch yourself right now. You aren't dreaming. The first thing on that calendar is server transfers. That's right, it's finally happening. January will see full server transfers on official servers across all platforms. That will include transferring items and dinos. Now, there's going to be a mix of people being happy with that and some that aren't, but this was an inevitable move as I couldn't see them holding this back until March when Scorched Earth releases. They do say official servers, but I would expect this to also include unofficial servers and single player. There is no specific date yet on when this will happen, but Wildcard will be releasing further details in the new year. So if you are looking to transfer servers, you better start getting ready. There was also no mention about crossplay for Windows Store version. That is yet to be updated on. February brings a huge surprise with the team bringing the center map forwards in their release schedule. Previously, we weren't expecting to see the center until May, two months after Scorched Earth. But there's an unexpected change happening with this map. It's coming with the Gigantoraptor, not the Shastasaurus. Now, I get some people might be a bit disappointed with that because the creature votes were done specifically for each map and Shastasaurus was a big win for the center because of the amount of ocean that it has. But things do seem to have changed. Now, Dolly did make mention of this change on the Discord. She said, we've shuffled things around a little. We'll share more info in the new year. I suspect the main reason for this change is that the Shastasaurus is not ready yet as it comes with new mechanics with its submarine-like saddle. And as the center is brought forward, they can't rush the Shastasaurus. Also on top of that is the fact that a lot of people have been wanting the Maywing brought back early for breeding purposes. And the Gigantoraptor is probably the next best thing to that. But overall, this is great news because it means we don't have to wait as long for a new map, which is likely the reason for it being brought forwards. But I'm very excited to try this map out again after so many years, and I really hope they've done some work on it and that they're not sacrificing that work to bring it out early. March will still see the release of Scorched Earth, so this isn't being pushed back. So basically, all they've done so far is brought the center forward in their schedule. Scorch is believed to still release with the Fasola Sucus, and they have mentioned the Frontier Adventure Pack. Now, Jeremy did make it sound like all maps are getting one, but there's been no mention of one for the center. So either that one's not ready due to it releasing early, or Jeremy was talking specifically about the canonical story maps only. So that isn't quite clear at this point of which maps are actually getting an adventure pack. They have also mentioned that premium paid mods will be arriving in early 2024 with no set date for that yet. I'm sure there will be more information in the new year. And there was also no mention of the animated series in there either, which we're meant to be hearing more about that in the early new year. Now, it sounds like there will be further details released in the new year once the team have returned from their break. But right now, with the center coming forward from May to February, this does leave a huge gap on their roadmap between March and July. 
Now it's possible there could be further changes to the roadmap with other maps possibly being brought forwards a little and I expect there will be some further changes because April, May and June is the entirety of quarter two and it doesn't make sense for them to have an entire quarter with no new content. Now there is speculation and I want to stress that this is purely speculation but Snail Games Roadmap recently made mention of the sixth DLC releasing in June 2024. I'm personally not trusting this, I don't care what Snail Games have said, Wildcard have made no mention of a DLC in June and Jeremy himself said new story maps will come after all canonical story maps have released. And we still don't know what the November surprise is either. So I'm just going to wait to find out what their plans are for quarter two as we get nearer to that time. But I'm pretty sure there's likely to be some changes to the roadmap so that they've got some content coming out in quarter two. So survivors, exciting news. I don't think any of us was expecting this. I think everybody's expecting delays for stuff, not stuff being brought forwards. And I think this is definitely needed to keep people interested because I do know quite a few people that are getting bored with just the island map, particularly on official servers. Let me know what you think of this latest news, survivors. That's all for today. Have a happy new year, stay safe, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all the latest ARC news.